Hey first graders and kindergartners. Today we're going to be talking about fall leaves. Now this is one of my favorite paintings by one of my favorite artists, Georgia O'Keeffe. And she did a nice painting of fall colored leaves and you can see she's kind of zoomed in on the leaf and made the leaf look really big in her painting. And she used all those colors so nicely. You can see that this leaf right here still may be in the midst of changing colors. And maybe they're on the ground in a pile of leaves. So I really like her artwork and how simple she makes things and how she's focusing on the element of color. So today we're going to focus on drawing a leaf. We're going to focus on warm colors, just like in these leaves here. And we're going to focus on contrasting those warm colors with cool colors in our background. So we've been doing a lot of discussing about lines and colors. We're going to put that all together in this assignment. So this assignment, you'll have some options, and I'll show you each option, and then I'll guide you through one of them, but you can make your choice. So this one right here would be a nice oak leaf, and you can see behind it, I chose the zigzag line design. But you see that those are nice, cool colors behind the warm color of the leaf. That creates a contrast, so the leaf stands out more. Okay, that's one choice. Then there's another choice. This is another leaf. And again, you can see behind it, I used wavy lines. And again, they're cool colors. It almost looks like the leaf is floating on water. Okay, I liked how that one turned out. And then finally, we have our straight line design. And your lines could go horizontal or they could go vertical. It's totally up to you. Um, and then you have your leaf again in warm colors, your background in cool colors. So you get to choose what kind of line you want in your background, what kind of leaf you want to draw, and um, let's just go ahead and get started with that. You'll need a pencil for sure, a blank white sheet of paper, and I would probably try to use a combination of markers and crayons or markers and colored pencils. So let's go ahead and get our materials and get started. You get to choose what kind of leaf you want to do. So I have some options. If you go onto Canvas, onto the art page, you will also see that there are options and a little, um, you can see these options on Canvas. So you can look at these to get come up with an idea. Um, I'm going to just draw you, show you how to do one, but if you really want to do another one, you may want to wait or try it on your own or, um, anyway, I just want you to be able to make choices on what you want your leaf to look like. I'm going to give you an example of one right now, and then you can use that or you can do something a little different, but the requirements are the same. You need to have a leaf in the middle, a big leaf just like this one, and you need to have a type of line. So the lines we focused on is a straight line, a zigzag line, and a wavy line. So you can choose which one you want. This one kind of creates a water fill, this one just kind of creates a pattern, and this one is just more of a straight design. So let's go ahead and draw maybe this basic leaf since this is probably one of the easiest ones. You can see it's kind of this heart shape here. I turn it this way. You can see it's like a big heart. So let's start with that and see where that one takes us. So requirement one, number one is to have that big leaf on your page. So we want it to be pretty large. We don't want to have a tiny little leaf with lots of lines around it. We want it to be really big. So first graders, kindergartners, I know you can do that. You, we've been practicing drawing big these last few weeks. Then you're going to take and you're going to draw a nice dark line down the middle of your leaf. And we're going to add some lines that go all the way to the edge of your leaf. And we're going to use diagonal lines. So I'm going to take a diagonal line there and do the same one on the opposite side. So they're both branching out. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Okay, and another one here. And here. Okay, so we've got kind of a basic leaf shape and we'll go with that. We'll just start there. Um, I would use a crayon or something dark like a marker. Um, I'd use black or brown. In this example, I used black 
my black's kind of running out, so I'm going to use brown on this one. Um, I would stay away from green though, because green is a cool color, and we're trying to make fall leaves. So fall leaves, we've talked about this before you came to class today. Those are going to be red, orange, yellow, browns, okay? We're not going to go with green leaves. So once I trace this line with the marker, I'm going to choose those warm colors to color with, okay? So I've got that traced out. I'm going to choose those warm colors for my crayons now. I've got a red one. I've got an orange one. I've got a yellow one. Those are our three basic warm colors. My crayon set actually has some extra warm colors like yellow orange. That would work. I also have a red orange. Um, I also have some browns that I could use as well. So we want to stick with the warm colors and browns for our leaf. I'm going to stick with the red. I like red leaves. So I'm going to go ahead and you can just color on top of those lines and we're just going to try to stay away from scribble scrabble but try to fill it in completely. And you can choose one color or you could try mixing some of those warm colors together. Mixing with crayons is always fun. So that's step one. I've used my warm colors. I'm done with my warm colors. I'm going to put them back now. Now I'm going to choose some cool colors. So if you're choosing a different leaf, you're still going to do it in steps. You're going to color in your leaf with warm colors. Then you're going to pull out your cool colors. Cool colors are going to be blue. I have two types of blue in my crayon kit. I've got purples. I've got two types of purple. And you could add green if you want. I think I'm going to stay away from green for this time because I kind of like just using the blue and the purple. But you, if you want to use green, you can use green in the back. I think for this background, I'm going to do a wavy line background. So you're going to take your crayon and we can do thick lines and thin lines on the back. So I'm going to go all the way down and I can do another one right next to it. And we can color that in later. And then I can do some more wavy lines, okay? So you can just have fun and they don't they don't have to connect if you want. You could have them going all different directions. Um, just have fun doing wavy lines behind it and use cool colors. That's really what I want to see. So that we're having the cool colors in the background with whatever kind of line you choose. So some of you may be choosing zigzag line, some of you may be choosing um, straight lines, or the wavy line. And we can make them thick lines like this, or thin lines like these ones. And I'm just gonna kind of fill in some of my space. I, I don't want it to be a lot of white. I wanna have a lot of wavy lines back there to fill my space in so it's not too empty. So this assignment really brings together a lot of the things we've been talking about. So last week we did a sun and we used warm colors. So we're talking about the warm colors again. The week before that we did the sombrero and we talked about the, th the lines again. So we've been talking a lot about the lines. We've been talking about warm colors and cool colors. And you guys should be getting really good at all of these elements of art. Okay, now I'm going to keep coloring and just fill it in till I'm happy with it. So you'll notice that when I'm finished, I pulled in like marker on this one just to make it go a little faster. Um, on this one, again, I used marker and crayons. I did thick lines and thin lines. 
And again on this one, marker crayon, thick lines and thin lines. So I think you guys can finish it from here. I've given you a good start. Just remember background is cool colors, leaf is warm colors, and I want to see yours when you're done. So make sure you come back to class and show me what you finished, and I'm excited to see what you come up with. And I will see you then.